Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I go by the name Ted Ted Tay and I give you information on Erasmus Mundus scholarship, scholarships in the UK and then beyond. If this is the first time you are watching any video on this channel, I'm glad you are here on this channel. You will definitely find a video worth watching. Kindly hit on the subscription button for me and then the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you would be the first to be notified of. Today, I'm here to talk about a scholarship for those of you who are interested in games. This is an interesting scholarship and it is known as the Joint Masters in Games and the short form is known as Replay and applications are open. The deadline is on the 15th of February 2024 so I would encourage you to immediately apply if you meet the requirements after watching this video. Yeah, So we are on the home page. Mind you, I would be inserting all the relevant links in the description so that navigation becomes easy for you when you are applying for this program. Okay, so let's explore the home page. Okay, so the deadline is stated here. You can watch a promo about um, the program via this link here and then let's just scroll down. Replay is split between three game universities in three different European states. So you get to study in Portugal, Belgium and then Finland. Replay is the two-year European master program where students from across the globe come together with the objective of designing, experimenting and developing the meaningful game experiences. Students are empowered to shape the future of game design, unlocking the industry's potential potential for creativity, innovation, and societal relevance. Throughout their journey, the students will be immersed in three unique national game development and artistic ecosystems. Join us in redefining the future of game design. So if you are interested in redefining the future of game design, then of course this course is for you okay i'll be putting all the relevant links in the description so with this you get to read about the consortium that is the schools that you would be studying at i'll put a link in the description so that you can read and then find out if you are interested in this course okay so now let's move on to the admissions and then the requirements okay so it is stated here again replay call is open deadline is 15 february 2024 okay so now let's read the application requirements Diplomas in different study areas are accepted for applicants with relevant professional experience in game design and production. This implies that if you do not have any official qualification in game design, so far as you have the relevant professional experience in game design and production, you can always apply for this course. So let's continue. The following requirements must be fulfilled by all applicants. Okay, so the application form online, and complying with the imposed deadlines no application sent by regular mail will be accepted okay so we will be looking at the application form at the last step okay so the next thing that you need is a copy of your passport or your id card okay so you need to scan uh, the place where you have your photograph and then your basic information on your passport okay recent headshot photograph with this headshot photograph uh i would advise that you go to a professional photographer and then you get your headshot photograph for you okay then you need your final university diploma from previous degrees and transcripts of record okay so you need to have your transcript and then your university degree as well yeah you also need your cv okay so your cv must provide professional qualification experience um, pieces of work, job, tags, professional skills in game design or production. Okay, I would advise you to use the Euro Pass CV format. And um, the link is going to be in the relevant um, videos in the description, so you can watch it, and then you can generate your Euro Pass CV in a few minutes, and then. You need a PDF documentation of your letter of motivation that expresses interest in studying at replay. Okay, so the maximum must be 
300 characters so just bear that in mind also if you check the relevant links in the description you're going to uh, have a video on how to write a letter of motivation and that would help you to facilitate your writing process okay also you need two or three letters of recommendations okay these do not have to follow a template the only requirement is that the contact details of the person providing the reference must be clearly typed must be signed and if possible should contain a business email address and a telephone number okay this implies that when your referee writes your reference letter let them include their contact details which includes their telephone number and then their business email address if that is possible okay then the next thing you need is an analysis of your favorite game related project in which you explain what the game means to you and why it has that effect on you so I know you're already interested in gaming so you can analyze your favorite game you write it uh, in your word document and then you convert it to PDF and then you add it to your application okay yeah, the next thing is that you include a postmortem of a maximum of two game projects you show in the portfolio what was your role in the project what went right and wrong what insights did you take away from the project the maximum has to be 2000 characters per project so you talk about two game projects that you have been involved with and then you describe what went right and what went wrong and what you take away from the project the next thing that you need is a show role and portfolio that is a video with a maximum duration of one minute that features a selection of projects okay so it's a show reel your selection of projects should be displayed in one minute you add subtitles describing your specific role stroke relevant tax to the portfolio pieces that contain group projects i know this would be very easy for you if you have experience in game design and production then the next thing you need is a link to your portfolio your personal website either on h um, stream or other relevant platforms so just add it to boost your chances of being selected for the program the next thing that you need is a proof of proficiency in the English language okay so coming from Ghana or Nigeria or if you have studied your and a graduate degree in an English taught university all you need is the proof of English proficiency from your university and that suffices for your English language test we can read those requirements at the end of the page but I just wanted to inform you in advance so do not fret just get your English proficiency letter from your university and then you are good to go then you need a residence certificate that is issued in accordance with the candidates municipality normal registration rule so all you need is a certificate of residence just check the relevant resources in the description and you are going to see how you can get your proof of residence so this is the selection criteria the applicants academic quality judge primarily from the results of prior university studies the applicants motivation and justification of the application in relation to prior studies work experience and future career plans towards the aims of replaying judged from the cv in combination with the letter of motivation analysis and portfolio or show real the applicant english language skills judge from the certificate provided and from the interview okay so they will be um, listening to your english speaking ability also during the interview applicants with the highest scores resulting from the application package will be called for an online interview in a date to be settled by the selection committee applicants that do not qualify for the interview will be informed by email okay so this is the appeal process in case you feel um, you were not selected and you believe you should have been selected then you can also appeal so you can read about that and then i've already spoken about the english proficiency so this is the first part is talking about providing one of the following english certificates that is the i lts the TOEFL, the cambridge and the rest but we are not interested in that i am going to explain why you can provide an english uh, proficiency letter from your university and how that qualifies you okay so uh, let's continue providing an english language diploma at an institute of higher education and presenting a convincing application for a waiver of the requirement if an applicant's undergraduate degree was fully taught and examined in english and they have graduated within two years of this course start date they would be exempt from taking an 
English language test. We would require a letter confirming their degree was fully taught and examined in English if their degree was not studied in a majority English speaking country. So that is for you. You just need an English language proficiency letter from your university and you are good to go but it must be within two years of the course start date so that is the twist so just bear in mind if it's beyond two years then preferably i would advise you to send an email to the consortium or else you would have to write an ielts or any other english language requirement test okay so tuition fees but we are not interested in the tuition fee part i just want to highlight on the scholarship component of um, replay and then it states here that Erasmus Mundo scholarship will cover the tuition fee and will guarantee a monthly allowance of 1,400 euros for the duration of the academic activities and or maximum of 24 months to cover installation, travel and subsistence cost. Okay, so that is for you. It is a fully funded Erasmus Mundus scholarship. Okay, so that is it. We have explored the application requirements for replay now let's go straight to the application portal okay so this is the application portal the link is going to be in the description once you are here you just click on register and then you input your name um, your email your password you confirm it and then you register and then you start the application process and that is it if you are interested in game design and development even if your undergraduate degree has nothing to do with game design or development and you have the professional experience in game design and development then you can apply for the replay that is the european master in games okay so that is it um i wish you all the best in your application this is an interesting scholarship scheme about gaming and if you are interested in gaming this video is for you i'll catch you on the flip side stay blessed and i'm out